Greg, thank you for this time. This is not gonna be your normal everyday angry black man. Oh, and I'm angry, but not for the reasons you might think. Yep, Joe Rogan said the N-word. Hell, he even said it with a hard ass R. A bunch of times on a podcast. And yeah, it pissed me off when I first saw it. So, very clever woke. But you kind of left out a few things, like it was 12 years ago. Nobody cares what he said 12 years ago. Hell, you didn't. Where were you then? I'll wait for a response, but we know that will fall on deaf ears. Maybe it's time you stop using us African Americans to do your dirty work and fight your battles. Now I get it, you use your favorite little words to get us fired up, racist, systemic, critical, and your new favorite word, misinformation. And that'll get us fired up and we won't even look at the facts or the whatnots and we'll just jump in and cancel away with you. Your fight with Joe Rogan was about COVID, but you were losing that conversation, so you needed something else and you went right to the good old woke playbook. But you went one too many times. How about this? Fight Joe Rogan yourselves. Leave us out of it. Look, the N-word is bad. I learned its meaning at four years old. That was the first time I was called a by a family member. And I've been called it enough times in my life to where I pretty much consider myself an expert on it. Now, I know it's gonna be a news flash to you woke, but us blacks, we understand the word context. Joe Rogan should keep that word out his mouth. Hell, everyone should. He said it then, but you're saying it now. For no other reason to cancel a man you can't compete with. And you know what? That sounds racist to me because that's usually when I was called it. I was winning the argument. So you had to pull that out of your bag of tricks because you couldn't compete. I think you just told on your woke selves. Now, I just may be an uppity but that sounds a lot like, and I'll use one of your words, misinformation.